I'm here still with Dr. Matthew Harden, who has joined us from Plaza Dental Group to talk today about any tips that he may have for your children if they're stubborn and say they don't like brushing their teeth so much. Do you have any tips for parents who are struggling to get their child to brush their teeth? You bet. Um, something you might want to try is to make it fun for the child. Go to the store with them and if they have a favorite cartoon character, maybe let them pick out their favorite toothbrush That's and fun. give them some incentive to, uh, you know, want to brush their teeth that way. Do you find that children are terrified of the dentist most of the time? Not most of the time. Um, the kids that get along best coming to the dentist are the ones that start out very early. Um, those ones that come in after, you know, six months of getting their first tooth. So. Um, Bringing them into the office is a good idea so that they can get familiar with the equipment, get familiar with the dentist, see that it's not a scary place, and um, make that first experience a positive one for the child. I would say that's probably pretty good. Is there anything that they can do at home, you know, to prepare the child? You bet. Um, you can work with your child, maybe play doctor and patient with them, lean them back in a chair, ask them to open, um, yeah. try to so just familiarize. To Correct. And then also there's a lot of uh, very good children's books that deal with, you know, a child's first visit to the dentist, try to let them see um, that it's not a scary place to go. Well, we're talking about this because it's National Children's Dental Health Month. And um, earlier, since you're talking about things that you can do at home with your children, mm -hmm. we, uh, I, got on the ADA website, and there's activities, color sheets, puzzles, games, and then some hands-on activities, demonstrations. I had shown an apple earlier, and this, if you cut it out, it decays, and it, you know, it shows somewhat what a tooth would do um, as it decays. And then I tried to get these two over here <laughs> to um, <laughs> floss with a little flossing demonstration where you put your hands together and then you can pretend that the yarn is floss and that can help with teaching your child how to floss. Do you have other um, maybe ideas and activities that, that they could try when it comes to flossing? Because I feel like as a child, for me personally, I didn't floss as a child. I would brush my teeth, but I just, I could not get the flossing thing into my routine. I hated it. Did either of you floss? I did. My mom, yeah. She made she, you? Yeah. She's a big one on it. Right, yeah. Floss can be a difficult um, talent to learn. And really, a parent should help their child and floss for their child, sometimes up to age, you know, six to eight um, until they can effectively do it themselves. Right. One of the ADA activities, something that's fun to go into schools and do, um, you can bring in some, some dental exam gloves, put some peanut butter between the fingers, and let the children um, try to floss between each other's fingers and see kind of how difficult it can be right, to remove to what's between the teeth and clean effectively. Interesting, interesting yeah. information that you have brought to us. Thank you so much for joining Thanks us. Thanks for having me. Um, today